Hello and welcome to Bro Jewel. Today we're going to be asking where are they now, as we take another look at some of the mods we've covered in the past, and more specifically, the updates they've received. And since it's Halloween, at the end we'll point you in the direction for some great spooky mods. To start things off, we have a favourite of ours, Spell Sword. This is a mod that lets you imbue magical power into your weapons, using nothing more than the original magic and weapon system. The original version of the mod which we covered back in 2017 worked quite well, but it was also fairly limited in the types of spells you could use, and it didn't support spells from other mods. While as of version 2.0 which was just released the other day, that's thankfully no longer the case. The mod has been built from the ground up to support all spell types and shouts, even those coming from other spell and shout mods. On top of imbuing your weapons with magical power, you can now also enchant your shields and jewellery with spells too. The process of assigning a spell is also easier than ever. It's as simple as equipping the spell in your right hand, and then heading into your inventory and clicking the casting button on a piece of gear. Spell weapons can be found all over Skyrim and come with all sorts of spells assigned, even those from other spell mods. And since you can now have multiple spells equipped at the same time, you can carry around an entire arsenal of spells on your character's back, while using the cycle hotkey mid-combat to seamlessly switch between them. Concentration spells are now supported through holding down a block, which can be done with a shield or a weapon. And thanks to its support of literally every other spell mod in existence, you can create some really cool magical trinkets and combinations. Like a rare magical necklace that lets you jump inside the mind of another human, or a legendary magical shield that lets you summon a giant wall to block any charging enemies. The possibilities are almost endless, especially since the balancing of the mod is fully customizable in the mod menu. So if you were hesitant about playing a fully capable battle mage before, maybe the latest version of Spell Sword can pull you in. And for today's second mod, we have more HUD. It's been a few years since we took a proper look at the mod, and since then nothing has changed, at least in terms of the main mod. However, just a month ago we saw the release of More HUD, the Inventory Edition. If you're unfamiliar with More HUD, it's a mod that probably falls into a lot of players' must-have lists. Put simply, it adds some much-needed information to Skyrim's HUD, without being overly intrusive. So when you hover over an item on the ground, you can now see all of the relevant information as well as how it affects your stats. This is particularly handy when you hover over ingredients, scrolls or spell tomes. The inventory edition of the mod comes from the same author and with a similar aim. The mod offers four minor changes to the menu that'll end up saving you a bunch of time in the long run. You can now instantly see if you already know a certain enchantment, which is shown with a little tick if you do. On top of that, you can also now see if you've previously read a book, as well as if the book contains knowledge to grow one of the player's skills. And finally, the mod fixes one of the most annoying aspects of the inventory HUD, long descriptions. You'll now be able to read those super long item descriptions that would normally leave you squinting. All in all, it's another simple, handy mod to add to your load order. And for today's last mod, we don't have a mod at all, but instead a game, or a game based on a mod. If you remember a few years back, we featured one of our favourite quest mods of all time, The Forgotten City. This is a unique murder mystery quest set in an ancient underground city. It's one of the most creative quest mods ever made. Which is probably why, a year after its release, it was nominated for and actually won an Australian Writers Guild Award, the first mod to ever win one. Since our original video back in 2015, the mod hasn't changed much, apart from a few bug fixes and tweaks to dialogue. However, this isn't the end for the Forgotten City. The author has gone on to develop a standalone game based on his original mod. On screen now you're seeing the trailer, which shows off some of the new world. If you've played through the mod or even just seen our video on it, certain scenes will probably look familiar. The game's release is set for 2019, and you can follow its development on its Steam page or through the author's website, which we'll link down below. Until then, you can get a feel of what to expect by playing the original mod. A bunch of games derived from mods have gone on to become extremely successful. Even today, some of the most played games are ones that came from mods. So we hope the Forgotten City goes down a similar path to success. And that's it for today's mods. If you somehow haven't had enough for all things Halloween, you should check out our Halloween special, which features several spooky horror-related mods. Or for something bigger, you can always transform Skyrim into a dark fantasy. We'll leave links for both of those down below. And that's the end of today's video. If you're interested in any of the mods shown, you can find everything you need down below. As always, be sure to leave endorsements and support mod authors whenever possible. And thanks for watching.